What is good, y'all? It's your boy Ty again. We're back with another video, and today I'm gonna be talking about Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Now, I normally don't like comparing things, but I I kind of want to this time, uh, in the regards of you know which game I'm more excited for between the two games, um, just because you know they were announced the same day, and uh, you know Gotham Knights was just supposed to come out this year while wow, suicide squad killed justice league was always supposed to come out 2022 and with the all the stuff we're seeing with suicide squad killed the justice league i want to talk about and compare how well rocksteady is doing compared to wb montreal now i'm pretty sure wb wb montreal has a lot of things that they want to show us that they probably can't right now but at the same time i feel like things like for example, the Red Hood and the Nightwing gameplay should have been shown, right? We seen the Bad Girl and Robin gameplay the first day this game was re uh, revealed, not released, revealed. And, you know, we've been waiting for a chance just to see the other two characters, right? Now we got the story trailer and uh, we got a story trailer for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And if you guys watch those videos that I uploaded, I said that as of right now, I'm a little bit more excited with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And that's just because the uh, story and the way the game is looking right now, the information, it, it, it's given us more so far, right? It's given me more to be excited about. And, you know, I'm not saying that Gotham Knights is going to be bad or anything. I'm just saying that I want to see more from that game. And as of right now, they haven't really been showing us anything. So, I really want to hear what you guys have to say. But, you know, also going into the gameplay for Suicide Squad Kills Justice League trailer. Uh, like the gameplay trailer just being revealed uh, at the Game Awards. Why didn't uh, Montreal show anything for Gotham Knights? Like, is there something to be concerned about with the game? Like, I just want to know about that. But... I am going to be making a video on Suicide Squad Kill Justice League's gameplay. I posted a reaction. I'll put it up in the card. I think it should be here. I'll put it up in the card so you guys can go see that if you want to. And, you know, I'm going to be making a, a breakdown video for all the characters like I did with Gotham Knights. But going back into, you know, the comparison, I want to compare the two uh, story trailers. So I'm going to bring those up in a second. Um, and I just want to compare the two story trailers uh and just you know explain what i think the one game is just doing better than the other i, I think that's fair i think they're both going to be great games and you know to be fair it's probably not fair to compare them due to one game probably uh or one game is going to be a you know four player co-op where the other one is going to be two player co-op but at the same time like i said these games were both revealed at the same time and gotham knight did get delayed even though it was supposed to be released in 2021 and you know just for both games we still don't have a release date we just have a year i need a release date all right so let me pull these trailers up real quick and we're going to talk about it okay so first off i want to show off the gotham nice trailer again just to you know break it down uh you're probably not going to be able to hear it as well i'm gonna have it low just so it's not overpowering my voice when i'm trying to commentate over it uh but yeah we're going to um we're going to watch the Gotham Knights trailer first, and I'm going to just talk about, like, you know, how I felt about it. Because I don't even think I really talked about it like that. Um, but let's get into it. So, you know, going off, we get this little introduction. Uh, we got Penguin. Bad up a little bit. Or actually, let me just turn it down, turn it over my thing. But we got the Penguin, you know, narrating uh, this story. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be, like, a... I don't know, like a little like interaction in the game, like a uh, cutscene. My fault, I couldn't even think of it for a second. But it's probably gonna be a cutscene between Nightwing and uh, Penguin because you know you see the cutscene, but you know they're they're putting it into a trailer format. But uh, to be fair, this game doesn't really give us a lot of information, and I get it. You know they're going for the detective pr approach, so I feel like you know more gameplay. Would have been better to show than the story trailer we already knew it was about the court of owls uh but it, it doesn't really give us a lot of information in this trailer and it, it doesn't really like i don't know i don't think it really helps besides yeah 
we're fighting the Court of Owls. Here's some visuals with the Court of Owls, right? Um, you know, we get Robin, we get we get some cutscenes. These are clearly cutscenes uh, that we're gonna be seeing in the game. No gameplay at all shown in this in this trailer at all. So straight cutscenes, stuff like that. Night or not night when Red Hood getting captured. You know, the Court of Owls surrounding him. He's tough tough with it you know what i'm saying so this creepy ass music <laughs> somebody die he let somebody die uh I, I don't know i i seen some people talk about how that might be like a little like um a little uh you know hallucination that's going on with bad girl wearing the mask so i don't know and then you know we get information regarding the the enemies like we get like what two type of enemies that they show and we don't even really get the information like that uh in the trailer we get it from you know some screenshots that we got on the discord or the twitter account so if i'm being honest this trailer's a little bit you know boring it's kind of a boring trailer and i don't think it really does a good job in showing what they really want to show but now going into the suicide squad kill the justice league trailer instantly you know nostalgia is going to kick all right Instantly we get uh uh fucking um if I can't think I can't think instantly we get a call back to the way Arkham Asylum started with the Arkham sign cars going past instead of the Batmobile you know nostalgia's playing with everybody's hearts right there right we got Amanda Waller going all right the nostalgia I'm gonna just exclude that but we're getting stuff about the story right like we're getting. The information we're getting introduced to who they are task force x suicide squad right amanda waller who's helping us gizmo how are we getting the tech stuff like that gizmo helping us out you know what i'm saying we're getting introductions to each character we don't get that with gotham knights right look at gizmo man he's so ugly dude he's so ugly <laughs> but i am too let's go gang um but you know we got them. We we get monsters, yeah. Uh, a lot more monsters that we got from you know uh, the Gotham Knights trailer, or not monsters, but you know enemies that we're gonna be fighting. And then we get this. Y'all know that's Wonder Woman, right? It's an interesting trailer. It shows like a lot of you know flair to it compared to the other game right like the other trailer superman flash john stewart bang bang wonder woman you know she get in the game but that hit the the batmobile stolen i don't know what that was some car but you know a lot of this is clearly cutscene too right but it's more interactive right and at this point we didn't we didn't really get anything uh gameplay wise for this too but the this this trailer is just a lot more exciting exciting to me right in my opinion i think it's just overall the better trailer so bam 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 we're clear on who our enemy is it's clearly brainiac uh and probably gonna have to fight brainiac at the end of this zone how are they gonna do that but you know, we stopping them. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I still, I think that's like a poison ivy thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that could be. But yeah, and that, and it's just a lot more excited trailer. And look at this, the funniest thing from the trailer. We got the penguin in two trailers, by the way. Ah, they fry him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um. Like I said, I'm just a lot more excited for Suicide Squad Kills Justice League. I feel like they showed us more and or not showed us more. Well, at this point, probably because they showed us a gameplay trailer. They didn't give us the 15 minute gameplay uh, like they did uh, for Gotham Knights. But even at that, looking back at the 15 minute gameplay, it's really not that much gameplay. It's a lot of talking and explaining, but not a lot of fighting. It's like it it's it's not a lot of information compared to what we've seen with the recent suicide squad kill justice league gameplay trailer and i hope gotham nice shows more can't wait for both of the games still and i hope they both show us a release date near release date so 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And it's been your boy Ty. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.